musty ass fat ass right here. Like, if I see this motherfucker disrespecting me, I'm sorry, but I'm swinging on his ass, bro. Like, look at you. Damn. y'all it is time it is time to talk about attack on titan season four now i'm going to say this real quick <clears throat> I am giving a fat ass spoiler warning right now. We's gonna be talking about the first three episodes of season four. So if you have not watched these episodes, do yourself a favor and get the f out because you will be spoiled. So go pop you some goddamn popcorn, go watch the episodes, then come back. But anyways, <clears throat> Attack on Titan season four is hitting. Like damn, it don't miss. It's always smacking. All right, so let's dive into episode one. <laughs> So we got my guy waking up on a whole ass battlefield, looking like homie got amnesia or post nut syndrome. Even like he just beat his meat to a bad video and he's regretting it now. Like bro, at least do it in the trenches. But speaking of trenches, bro, we just went from like the damn apocalypse to the damn World War One. Bruh, I remember when we didn't know shit about this show. We thought it was gonna be some apocalypse last of humanity survival last shit. And now we on some World War One type shit? Hey yo, props to the world building right here, man. man give that shit a round of applause. All right, so we cut back to my guy that's recovering from his post-nut syndrome. And we learned that his name is Falco. And then we got all these other random ass kids. So apparently this kid's a warrior candidate. And I guess whoever wins becomes a successor of the armored Titan. Because we know Titan Shift has only got like 13 years to live. And it looks like our boy Reiner's about to kick the bucket. But anyways, we see that these kids are aliens. And these people from Marley are uh, racist as fuck. Like damn, they have brainwashed these motherfucking people to think that the Eldians are devils. Like damn, bro, they some dirty ass bastards for that. Like look at this musty ass fat ass right here. Like if I see this motherfucker disrespecting me, I'm sorry, but I'm swinging on his ass, bro. Like look at you. Damn, out here sending my ass to die on the front lines, bitch. Your fat ass could probably block more bullets than me. So how about you take your old fat musty ass up there and go on the front lines yourself? Like shit, if I use his big ass as a shield, shit, I'm not I get hit. This big ass will block all the damn bullets. Man, shit, anyways. So old girl Gabby comes up with the idea. She's basically gonna try to be a damn suicide bomber. So of course the dude from Marley's like, shit, I don't give a fuck, I ain't do it. Hey, but she was about it though, because she blew that shit up. I know these dudes in this bunker are like, why did we not shoot that bitch? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> But look at the fat ass in the back like, oh my gosh, she did it. Yeah, she did it with your old hawker ass. Don't sound surprised. Because I know your fat ass wasn't going to do shit. Hey, yo, but what is the celebration? What is that run? That damn Crash Bandicoot Mario ass run. Hey, but one of the homies in the book is fine and started busting. Man, put out the MG and said, I'm about to bust a cap in this bitch. You know this dude got to be from Detroit. But goddamn, he got some Stormtrooper aim. Like, how can you not hit her? She is in the back ass open. And you can't hit her? Bro, sign this man up for the damn empire. Uh, Mr. Emperor Palpatine, uh, we got a stormtrooper for you right here. Good. Bro, but why did Falco bring his ass out here? Like, bro, you already beat the fuck up and you're recovering from your damn post nut syndrome. Mm, he might be trying to smash. Hey, but look at the jaw tighten, though. Man, I ain't gonna cap. That is a sick ass design right there. Bro, homie with the MG is like, damn, damn, damn. That stormtrooper aim came back and bit him in the ass. Cause this man got flattened. Like, damn, you are not finding his corpse after that shit. So then we cut into this airship that looks like the damn Hindenburg. I'm telling y'all, I'm getting World War One vibes from this. So we got Zeke and Rhino up here in the airship, right? And a bunch of random ass people in straight jackets. And well, uh, let me say, I kind of feel bad for these dudes. Because this man Zeke turned them into Titans. Hey, I ain't gonna cap though, that's a nice ass light show. But bro, these Titans fell from the sky like a bombing run. <laughs> Now, this is what I wanted to get to right here. Now, since we all know that the animation studio switched over, and now Mappa's doing Attack on Titan, and a lot of people were complaining about the Titans being CGI, when they came to me, I really don't give a shit. Like, I feel like Mappa's doing fine in all honesty. Like, they got other shit like Jujutsu Kaisen they gotta animate and all that. And to be honest with you, they are carrying the f*** out of 2020 anime. Like, Mappa's back gotta hurt. So anyways, I don't care if the Titans are CGI. They look fine to me. Uh, moving on. Hey, yo, these anti-Titan rounds are smacking the f*** out of Reiner, bro. Like, whole world lost his hand. Maybe he bum rush that shit though. But right in front of a cannon. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hey yo, I thought Ryder was about to get his brains blown out right here. But the jaw titan comes in clutch. Hey, but this man said some mad disrespectful shit. He said, You son of a bro, you disrespectful ass nigga. Ooh! 
bro, I'm smacking that ugly ass top hat off your motherfucking head, nigga. Damn, bro, you know what? Put me in there, coach. Mm, anyways, yo, this jaw titan is out here doing some ultra instinct type shit. Man, dodging all the damn bullets. Hey, but this man Reiner said, I right, fuck this train, bro. This man stood up and started spinning around and started singing, Ring around the rosy. I'm throwing this damn train in the wall. That's how you do it. Hey, but here comes this man Zeke, though. And we cannot forget about this man's legendary arm. So he chucks that shit. Hey, but hold on. The battleships hit him with the full counter. And boy, Ryder got shot the f*** up. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I thought this man was dead. Hey, but it's all good though because Zeke hits him with the stick. Get y'all asses out of here. So homie just basically threw the pitch to end the war. And then we had this old mystery man right here out here paying 25 cents for the damn newspaper. Hey, but anyways, uh, that was episode one basically. On to episode two. <laughs> but anyways, this man Ryder has mad PTSD. Like homie just woke up with the whole last Vietnam flashback. <laughs> So it seems to me it's obvious that this man Galliar has beef with Reiner. <laughs> we'll find out about that later. Hey, yo, the chick with the crutch is kind of bad, though. All right, so I have no clue who this kid in the glasses is, but just by looking at him, he pisses me off. Like, this man literally uttered, like, what, three sentences, and I don't like this kid. Like, he just seems like a bitch-ass nigga off a of first glance. Like, I I'm sorry. And here comes Reiner, and oh, my God, that PTSD is really kicking in now. Ooh, somebody acting mad sus for standing up there. I wonder who the f that is. I might have to call an emergency meeting on that nigga. Hey, but they get lit though on the train! Hey, yo, why did this man Reiner just get Falco the business though? Man was like, you got too much dip on your chin, little nigga. Bro, how old are you? You should not be drinking at this age. Alright, so everybody's finally home and shit. Hey, yo, was that the fat ass back from the trenches? Yo, how did this nigga not die? But look at this dude out here playing with them too. These dudes are clearly not right in the head after the war, my guy. And you just gonna fuck with him like that? Bro, every time I see this ugly bastard on my damn screen, he pisses me off even more. And I don't even know his damn name yet. Oh, it's uh, Mr. Kosolo. Well then, <clears throat> uh, f*** you, Mr. Kosolo. Hey, I don't know about this guy right here, but this dude is out here looking mad sus. Like, this dude is looking mad sus. Like, they even took the time to give this random ass person a whole scene. I wonder who it could be. Alright, so uh, let's cut back to uh, Reiner and uh, his brainwashed ass family. So they're like, oh yeah, tell your war stories, bro. Tell us about your time on the island with the devils. Alright, so there's this one bitch that just ate a potato all the damn time. Then there's this one girl that really wanted the protagonist stick. There was this one guy that looks like a girl, but he's actually fucking smart as hell. And then there's this crazy ass bastard that wanted to kill all the fucking titans. I think I might have caused his mom getting eaten by one. She yeah. Like this man had his whole family shook. Look at the mama, bro. She like, damn. I didn't need to know all that shit. All right, children, dinner's over. Damn, somebody really just decided to hit off. Oh my God, peak! Her ass is just tooted up. All right, so this man Zeke apparently has like a whole ass plan to stop all the Eldian racist bullshit. So they need help from the Tiber family. I don't know who the hell they are, but they sound hella interesting. Shit, that was basically episode two. Episode three. <laughs> Now this is the episode I've been waiting to talk about. It's basically the Reiner backstory. And god damn this shit was good. Alright, so we figured out that Reiner's dad is a Marleyan. And him and his mom are Eldians. So he wanted to be a warrior so he could be a Marleyan. That's wild! Damn, they really got these kids running in the rain with a whole ass rifle and a big ass backpack on their damn back. Alright, so the backstory no jutsu is really kicking in right now. So this is when Porco and Reiner's beef basically started. But Reiner was really a snitch. He was like, I'll report you to the commander. Oh my god! Is that Annie? Bro, it has been a fat minute since we've seen Annie. She, you know, she just still uh, chilling in that damn crystal. Oh my God, bro. She just abused that grasshopper. Yo, why does this scene look like a whole ass Call of Duty cutscene when they're explaining these Titans and their powers? All right, so we got the female Titan. Look at that roundhouse kick. This will be operated by operator Annie Lionheart. Next up, we got the armor. This big ass motherfucker is basically gonna be our shield. This will be operated by operator Reiner Bra. Next up, we got our assault weapon, the jaw titan. It may be small, but damn, it's fast. The operator for this titan is operator Marcel. Next up, we got the beast titan. This hairy ass motherfucker has the arm of Tom Brady mixed with Derek Jeter and LeBron James on the wing. This titan will be operated by that nigga Zeke. Next up, we got the car titan. Now, goddamn, this thing is ugly but it has great endurance so our homegirl peak is gonna be driving this shit and last but not least a colossal thing it's literally a fucking walking <laughs>
This will be operated by that nigga Comrade Bert. Alright, so Porco was the only one that didn't get any Titan powers. And Reiner ended up beating him. But yo, <laughs> this shit is gonna get hella interesting real soon. Man, they gave these whole kids a whole damn parade. But you know what? As I really think about this shit, this shit is really fed up. Like they really out here making kids do this shit. And it's hella messy. Up. So Reiner ends up meeting his dad in some old ass shack. And of course the dad doesn't want shit to do with him. Like this motherfucker really meant it when he said, all right, nigga, I'm going to get some damn milk. So they leave for the island and yo, this is where this shit gets mad juicy. So the reason why Reiner was picked as the armored Titan was because Marcel wanted to save his bro. So Reiner wasn't supposed to be picked as a warrior at all. Oh my God. So my life has been a lie the whole damn time. So then it shows the scene where Marcel gets gobbled up by Ymir. Bro, she ate that nigga with no salt and pepper. So they all ran away and my guy Reiner is acting like a whole ass bitch right now. Like his whole world has been rocked at this moment. So they all meet up again and Andy says they should go home. But of course Reiner wants to complete the mission. So Andy starts beating the shit out of him. Oh my God, she is stomping his ass out. Damn. Bro, she just caught a body. But shit, it ain't over. Gracious, this man has risen from the dead. A whole ass zombified Reiner. Bro, he is choking this bitch out. Bro, he put that hoe to sleep. So after they had that little squabble, they decide to attack the walls. And we see the first episode from their perspective. And I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I look at the first episode so differently now after I watch this episode. Like, man, if you think about it, these are kids out here doing this shit. They are thinking that, oh my God, these are monsters doing this shit. Nah, these are motherfucking kids. Bro, this this whole episode to me was just wild. Like this might be my favorite episode in this entire series. So they kind of show what our little trio of Annie, Reiner, and Berto did while they were inside the wall. And then there was this weird ass scene with Annie and Kenny. Now she said that Kenny was her father. And I was like, wait, what the f But I did some research and Kenny is not Annie's father. Bro, I was like, yo, we gonna have to take this shit to the Maury show. You are not. <laughs> So apparently Annie was basically a whole less lone wolf because she was not f with these two. Wow, Aaron in the flashback. This must be the first time we're seeing him in this season, right? <laughs> so we cut back to the present and my guy Ryder got the whole gun in his mouth. He want to end it all. But he thinks of his Nakama, his friends, the ones he must protect. And yeah, so uh, basically the power of friendship one here. Hey, bro, I really do like Reiner as a character now. Like, this is some A-tier ass character development. All right, so we cut back to Falco. And oh, what do you know? It's that guy that's bad sus out here waving at him. Man, I don't know about this guy, bro. He really is speaking like an anime protagonist. Yeah, uh, f*** it, bro. That's f***ing Aaron. Like, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I picked up on this man back in episode two. This man was acting mad sus. But anyway, that's basically episode three. So overall, like I said, Bro, Attack on Titan is smacking. This shit is good. This is that good shit that we have been needing in 2020. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hell, episode four is coming out soon. I might react to it. You never know. So anyways, like and subscribe if you guys are new. Yeah, enjoy the content. And I am out this hoe.